Hello everyone, welcome to Electromachine Technologies. We are into training of electrical designing and drafting, industrial automation, MEP, mechanical electrical plumbing. We are also into consulting and projects of electrical and automation in industries. And we are also into exports of electrical and automation products. This is my profile. In today's video, we are going to discuss about industrial automation course, which covers PLC, HMI, SCADA, and VFD. So what is automation? What is the importance of automation? Is it only in industries or it is everywhere? We are going to cover all those details in today's video. But even before we learn uh, automation, we need to have clear understanding of the basics of engineering. So that's why we have divided the course into 11 modules. So module one covers the basics of electrical engineering and then field instruments. Third module covers control and power wiring. Fourth and fifth covers the overview of automation as well as manufacturing process in any given industry. Then followed by PLC, HMI, SCADA, VFD and panel design. Module one is about introduction to electrical engineering. Wherein I can say this module covers the cream of engineering with respect to industry. This is the basic minimum knowledge one should have before facing an interview or getting into the industry. So what all things we are going to cover in this module? We are going to cover right from what is current voltage and how to measure current voltage, what are series parallel circuits, what are the different types of transformers and generators, how AC and DC power is generated, at what voltage the power is generated and how it is transmitted, distributed and utilized, what is the difference between single phase and three phase circuits and so on and so forth. Everything will be, all the basics will be covered in this module then comes field instruments in this module we are going to cover switch gear sensors and actuators switch gears are the products which are used in the industry as a switch when it, it is a switch when it comes to electrical industry so what all things will be covered in switch gear and the part of switch gear the contactors selector switches toggle switches and when the push buttons and then MCCBs, RCCBs, and then different types of sensors we'll, we'll, we will be covering and actuators will be covering in this module. When it comes to control circuits, we are going to cover the control and power wiring of any given circuit, of uh, any given circuit, how to do the wiring of a bulb to the forward reverse operation of an induction motor, how to do the wiring of a star delta uh, or a DOL starter, and how to read the circuit diagram will be covered in this module. Manufacturing process and operations, this in, the, in this module, it gives you an overview of any industry, right from how the raw material is converted into product part or how that part is assembled to make a product. Then comes overview of automation. In this module, we are going to cover the history of automation and the importance of automation. So automation is everywhere, be it home, office, industry or mall, it is inevitable. We cannot survive without automation. So now you know the importance of automation. So if we are planning to pursue a career in the field of automation, then definitely it is worth So the various to, what are the various tools of automation? What are the different brands or companies which are manufacturing automations? Everything will be covered in this module as well as the future aspects, career aspects of in the field of automation will be covered in this module. Then comes programmable logic controller, right from history of PLC to what is a PLC, PLC hardware, software and architecture will be covered in this module. PLC programming languages and uh, what are the different types of programming languages, how to write the instructions in the PLC, right from 
bit logic timers counters comparators will be covered so one point i would like to highlight here is plc is also ca called as industrial computer because both share common features like your power supply cpu memory input output and communication both say have the same features when it comes to plc and pc in this module we are going to cover more than 40 plc industrial programming applications right from basic application to complex application will be covered in this module and then uh, PLC commissioning, how to power up a PLC, troubleshooting, wiring, networking, and communications will also be covered in this module. And also PLC selection with respect to the particular application. Human machine interface. The word itself says that it is an interface between humans and machine. This is for pictorial representation of your application and to control and monitor the process. So you'll be learning the hardware, software, and HMI programming in this module. Supervisory control and data acquisition. SCADA is similar to your HMI, but HMI is for one application, SCADA is for total plant. So this module will be covering right from introduction of SCADA and applications of SCADA to recipe management, trends, graphs, alarms, report generation, weekly, monthly, yearly, etc. will be covered in this module. Variable frequency drive is one of the very important tool of industrial automation because this is the only product which can control the speed of an induction motor. Imagine a case scenario where you have a car and it runs only on single speed. The 10 kilometers per hour or 50 kilometers per hour or 100 kilometers per hour it will not be useful if you cannot vary the speed similar example like you are you are ceiling fan if you do not have a regulator for the ceiling fan we cannot use it in all the seasons so this is a very important product when it comes to automation so we'll be covering right from introduction to working principle and then parameterization, commissioning, advantages, still applications in this module. Panel designing is also very important when it comes to automation because what all products we have in uh, electrical, be it switchgear or automation, cannot be kept on the floor or cannot be mounted on the wall. So it goes inside the enclosure that is called panel. So there are we are going to discuss mainly three types of panels in this uh, module power control center pcc motor control center mcc and control panel power control is used for distribution of the power in the industry motor control center power ups the motor controls the motor and then control panel is having the controllers plc hmi vfd inside these panels this is our electrical lab. We have various panels and this is our uh, control circuits and variable frequency drive lab wherein we have different types of PLC, uh, VFDs, two of Schneider, uh, Siemens, ABB, Yasakawa, Delta and Mitsubishi and then we have three phase supply. We have induction motors. Uh, we have control circuits over here. So with the help of three phase supply, uh, we'll be uh, powering up the induction motor with control circuits as well as drives in this lab then comes our plc lab this is the our uh, siemens uh, demo kit and then we have another siemens model uh, plc then mitsubishi omron delta allen bradley schneider then we have two more allen bradley plcs and then total schneider control panel is available for doing the practice in our lab this is the overview of automation and then we have made some uh, prototypes uh, so once uh, we are done with the course we can work on these prototypes for a hands-on practical knowledge this is a rotary bottle filling application this is a multi-fan or multi-pump application and this is a conveyor so there are so many field instruments and uh, uh, switch gear is used to make this uh, prototypes so once after the completion of the course if you work on this pro application you will have thorough knowledge about the subject 
this is our classroom this is our address we are located in hyderabad india my mobile number is 9885359660 you can directly write a mail to me on ermtinfo@gmail.com so thank you so much for watching the video please do share this video with your family and friends we have special uh, timings for working professionals we have customized courses for working professionals we work on saturdays and sundays and also on uh, late evening batch is available uh, for the working professionals and then uh, even for college going students they can also join on a special uh, timing batch which is on saturday and sunday and on late evenings uh, our regular working hours uh, is from 10 am to 8 pm thank you so much for watching the video